This is an Embedded Systems Minute, Important Concepts in Embedded Computing. Today, the critical instant in real-time scheduling. The critical instant helps us understand how rate monotonic scheduling works and why rate monotonic scheduling is optimal, why you can't do better when you have fixed priority processes. So consider this simple example. We're interested in P4. It's the lowest priority process we're considering. And we want to know the real time, the wall clock time, from when we release P4 to be ready to execute until it finishes executing. So the critical instant starts when P4 is released. We have several other higher priority processes, P1, P2, and P3. So in order to determine when P4 finishes, we need to take into account not just P4's execution time, but also that of P1, P2, and P3. Now you may be thinking, this is simple, right? We have one execution of P1, one of P2, and one of P3. But things are in fact not so simple. We have to take into account several executions of P1, P2, and P3 in general because there may be several deadlines for these processes before we're able to finish P4. And the more preemptions we have, the more times P1, P2, and P3 need to execute, the more we're delaying P4, and so the more opportunity we have for even more preemptions. So the critical instant tells us how to count the total execution time required for not only P4, but all of the executions of all the higher priority processes. That's our Embedded Systems Minute on the Critical Instant. Thanks for watching.